Howdy folks, welcome back. This is the um, final uh, part three uh, in the series on how to use circles and spirals using the EQ2 house layout editor and this will cover how to make a spiral staircase. So let's go ahead and get started. Open up EverQuest and I'm just going to build on what we've already discussed um, regarding making a circle and whatnot. However, there is a tip I have for you. Um, previously I have discussed you know deleting items after you create them. I say go ahead I'm gonna create polished wooden tiles. I'm gonna create those in a minute. So instead of having to find all of them in my list, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and find them now and delete them because I'm going to create them in a circle so this will save me a lot of time it's way more efficient to delete old stuff now than to try to find it later and delete it trying to be careful not to delete the new stuff you know that that's not gonna work so go ahead and delete it ahead of time and just so you know I've already laid out a circle of wooden tiles right now on the floor these will be made into a staircase okay so let's bring that back up so we'll go to tools create objects circle or spiral and we've already got the center point I've included three more um, wooden tiles so that I can have nine steps in my staircase again I'm using 360 for a circle if I bring this to 180 it would be a crescent and if you go over it it'll go past and it'll just go kind of spiral around and around and around you could do that as well um, radius Three size three works for now um, for my staircase. If you want to make it a bigger staircase, way more round, you could increase the size of the circle. Now here's where it goes right here. The Z increase up and down. You can either tell it the entire amount of the staircase. So if I set this to let's say 10, this will be the entire height of the staircase, like 10 increments, like 10 feet or 10 meters or whatever it is. Um, and I'll go ahead and let's see these are all zero scale is one so I'm gonna hit create it inserts it into the inventory and as you can see I've already deleted the previous so I don't have to delete anything now apply edits save I'm gonna load my edit and there it is it's a nice spiral staircase okay so that worked out really well without having to meticulously place these where I want them it's just done alright now let's say I want to increment these steps without having to specify the total height of the stairwell okay so we'll go back to the tool and we will delete all of the polished wooden tiles that I created all nine of them because we're gonna recreate them here now what we're gonna do is check per step so now it only knows the height of each step. So I'm going to change this to, let's say, 0 0.5. Um, and we'll hit Create. And so it puts it in there. Apply, Save, Load. All right, so it incremented each step by 0 0.5. So it could just go on however far I tell it to go it's just gonna keep going so that's really handy if you'd rather do it that way um, and let's see one final thing was what if you wanted to let's say you wanted to make these stairs kind of more like a ramp so cuz see when you walk up to them they're pretty it's pretty much right angles it's all straight let's say I want to make them kinda of slightly bent might make it easier to walk up depending on your graphics and stuff so let's see We'll pull up the editor, create object, circle or spiral, go over to pitch and change that to negative 10. Well, let's just make it 15. Create, it inserts them, and we'll apply. And now look at that. It's basically a ramp. You just walk right up it. That's very handy. So this could be really useful if you uh, play with it you could do all kinds of things with it but you get the idea of how to make this 
touch on the ends so that there's no jagged steps. So, and that's pretty much the basics of using the spiral tool. It's it's very similar to the circle tool. All you're doing is incrementing the steps a little bit or telling it the total height of the staircase. But everything else pretty much stays the same. Um, and you can mess with what you've already messed with scale and I haven't played with rotate and roll but you could mess with that as well if you'd like. Just have fun with it. That's all I say. Alright? And um, if there's any more videos, I'll bring them out soon.